Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Residents of Igbora in Oyo State held their hands to their chest on Thursday as the body of Mrs. Bosedi Oguntube was being exhumed from where she was buried beside the church of a spiritualist known as Woli Dotun Ogunlade. Dotun Ogunlade and Mrs. Bose Ogunlade were said to have met on the Facebook. She approached Dotun Ogunlade for prayers to solve her socioeconomic and marital problems. But instead of offering the succor that she sought, Ogunlade, her rival at Ibora, drugged this woman by injecting her with a sedative and then severed her head. Ogulade connived with another friend, another suspect, Moti Ogunide, who was said to have requested for charms to be made for him to be rich. The head was burnt and grounded into powder to form part of the process for rich. The two knives that were used to kill and sever the body parts were recovered by the police, including a white cloth bag containing substance in a gourd. After the severing of the head of Mrs. Oguntunde, another friend of these two suspects came and cut her hand too, which he also needed for charms. The Commissioner of Police in Oyo State, Shino Lukolu, other senior officers, journalists, and others were at the site of the incident in Ibuora on Thursday. Nigerian Tribune Online spoke with the two suspects. Here yeah, had their confessions. My name is uh, what are you popularly, popularly known as? I'm known as a religious okay. How long have you been um, practicing this church thing? I, uh, although I have stayed with my, my grandpa before, so that's where I gained how to, how to conduct service in the church. So, but additional, I... I settled with my grandpa on 2013. So after that, my grandpa died. So after then, I leave uh, my grandpa's side so I could be living with my mom at the same. So how come the lady you were alleged to have killed? How did it happen? Can you tell us? I can say, I can say this that uh, in last year in last year so when i was in last year when i i feel my my occupation i say i am an auxiliary nurse i am an auxiliary nurse but i'm about to do freedom so my mom gave me hundred thousand so i can start up my business <laughs> Uh, go on, go on, go on. Go on, so, go on, go on. So I can start up my business. So and I ne I now go to one person called uh, Kende Imole. So that Kende Imole is used to be a uh, building contractor, a uh, timber contractor. So after that, I give him thirty-five thousand and 18,000 naira. Wait, wait. So... Go straight to the woman. We asked you, how did you kill the woman? What led to it? How did you get her? And why did you kill her? That's the question. We are on... I've been chatting with, with the woman since the beginning of this year, around January. So, but... Before then, I told, told the woman that I want to come to Lund to come and do revival. But the, she said she, she is under a church as a prophet. So after, the, after, after that, after that, I told the woman that 
Can she come and greet me at Ibuara? And said she can come. Were you dating her? I don't date the woman. Okay, so continue. She is older than me. So, after then, after then, when, when she come, so, before then, this man have come to me. What's the name of the man? The man is uh, Mutu. Mutu. The one sitting beside you? Yes. Okay. So the man has come to me already before that she needs help on his uh, work. So I do many work for him, like two works. One contain 2,000 one, another one contain 15,000 naira. So when I give him, she said she wants what can be more faster. What can be more faster? One that, one that, okay, one that, one, your voice. one that is, she need one that is faster, more than the one I did for, for him. So. So after that, she said, he said, he can go to any length so, to acquire the money. So after then, I now tell him that if he want to do it, maybe he can it, can it, uh, can it bear it if I use a human body for him. I say I should go home. So after the processing, so I which process? After that, after that, so I now processing how how I will work for for him. So I bill him forty five thousand naira to come with, and when the woman come, when the woman come to, I invite the woman. So the woman agreed to come from alone. And she and she arrived at Ishei. So at the night, so I don't know that she can make it, but she come around past hours, uh, around me, uh, going to midnight. So when she come, I entertain the woman into my house. Why she, she why she be on the bed? So, and I sleep on the mat. So after second, after second day, I call Mutil that uh, uh, I've seen somebody that we can use. So when, so after that, so uh, I leave, uh, Mutil say I should continue on the process. So when the woman, when it is on the 31st of May, the woman complain, complain of the complain for the body pain. So, but before I was trained as an auxiliary nurse. So after that, I, I have a sedative inje two sedative injection at my house. So I, I brought it out and gave the woman. So the woman slept off. So. After that, I strangled the woman to death. So, and I called Mutil. Mutil said, he, he is coming. He is going to be prepared in money. So, I dragged the cops outside. So, and I poured the sound on it. After then, I called Mutil. Mutil come. On the next day, we, I called one one of the boys at this, uh, uh, that I know in this Igora, and came with the chauffeur. So we dig a small, uh, the boy dig a small place. Although the boy doesn't know anything. So, but me and Mutil know everything. So we sit down, like from 11, 11 of the morning. So when it is come tonight, so, after we did the place, so we now call Muti. I mean, we now put put more in digging the place. So me and me and Muti, we now carry the corpse inside the the place where we dig. 
we learnt you remove some parts of the body. You are not talking about uh, that. Yeah, we talk about that now. Okay. So when we put it on uh, inside, it, we cover it with the sand. So after then, after like a week, like a week, I call this man. I call this man. So the man bring uh, bring thirty thousand naira. So after the woman, uh, after the man bring thirty thousand naira. So we go and buy the the uh, another materials. Um, I, I I we cut the head of the woman. Choppy. No, he's watching around. Um, you did the cutting. Yes. When I cut it, so after the uh, second day, we gather, we sit down at the this uh, uh, <laughs> this uh, place. So. We put it in a pot. So we now we now put uh, uh, many uh, another materials. I will now start burning it. Those materials are they charms? Uh, uh, this, uh, materials like charms. So okay. We, we used to. You burnt. Uh, you now boiled the head. Yes. Uh -huh. Is it only the head? Or which part again? Is it only the head or which part again did you take from that woman? So it's only the the head that we burn. So but now I want to make another confession. Please so see it. So I and I uh, the another confession I want to make and I I will put I will put a uh, policeman through all this thing. So, and I will give them every every evidence to confirm this. So, uh, when I have done that thing, before I done it, I was mostly traveled to Ishei, where one boy called Imole called me to come from my from my house. So when I reach the place, so although I, I doesn't open the port, so it might like burning something on that day. Uh -huh. I don't open the port, oh. but if you take the mole to if mole is using two phone, if you get the two phone, you can recover this picture on the phone. So, but he now show me the picture. Of, of two babies. So he said is what he is using so to get his own money. So after that, when I was buried this thing, I call one pa I call one my master. The master is named called Elabi. Yes, he did. It's in this town. And the, the policemen have arrested him. So that Imole, I mean that Ilabe, come by himself and and come to this grave. I dig uh, some sand from this uh, from the place. So if you go there now, so uh, brother Ilabe caught the hand by himself and small flesh. Yeah, brother Ilabe. Yeah. Yes, but. When in this processing, but I'll have go with that thing and me together to share. So when we reach a sharing, but I'll have to the hands, that hands, so and and flesh. They now give me small flesh. So when I I go with that flesh, so I bring the flesh to the immolus office. So when Imole see it, Imole check it. Although Imole doesn't want me to do it. So but when Imole see it, Imole say she need from the from the flesh. But she he doesn't let her ask of it. So but when my the, uh, the policeman that is in charge of my case at at uh, Ishei. So the man interviewed me 
Okay, and I say one hand is with Mr. Eladi. That and uh, flesh is with Emoli. But when the uh, when the uh, the policemen arrested Elabe and Imole, so on that day I'm talking to that uh, the uh, my policemen that should let me be on on one set on one set, so they say they cannot we, so we cannot discuss. But unfortunately, they take two, I mean three of us in one cell on that day. So now, in the processing, the, uh, the Elabe and the Mole tell me so, tell me that I should not say the truth to the policemen because it will tarnish their image. And if I say the truth, so, uh, so I should let them be released, so so they can know how to release me. So that's why I always camp in Mole and Elabe, even in front of the commissioner of police. So, but uh, as a you camp him how? Huh? I'm covering. Okay. So, but for the policemen, I can show them where the, where the flesh is buried. Did any of you eat any of the flesh? He the first time to take it. He do eat part of the flesh. I don't eat. Okay. How many times have you done such a thing before? In my life, I've never done it. But. But when uh, I was moving to uh, those two of my bosses, so that's when I was being initiated. Mm -hmm. Who are your bosses? <coughs> Who are those bosses? Are you trying to say that your that your bosses also did the same thing? Who are those bosses? I can't say that. I can't say that. But I know they they are. From their beginning, they have get some money. So they get some money before they and they tell me that this is how the way they are getting their money. So what 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 are those bosses? Can you tell us who they are? They are the policemen have arrested the two persons. Their name, huh? their name is Kende uh, Mole and. Okay. The Commissioner of Police in Oyo State also briefed the press, the journalists, on what actually transpired between the time Mrs. Ogunsunde got to Woli Ogunlade. Yeah. Gentlemen of the press, good morning. Here we are in Iguora. I purposely invited you to witness the scene of a barbaric and butchering of a victim, one Mrs. Bosede Oguntade, about 25 years old, who was killed by a friend she met on Facebook. The Commissioner of Police of your State Police Command wishes to inform members of the public that in continuation of our resolute determination, to stamp out crimes and criminality in society, which is to seize opportunity to allow members of the public to dangerous inherit in absolutely trusting individuals or groups who are entirely strangers met on social media, particularly those who claim to possess the power of clearance or ability to combat and treat successfully terminal diseases or possessing solution to socioeconomic and marital problems. This was the case of the pathetic story of late Mrs. She was drugged under the pretext of solving the problem of fatigue occasioned by the stress of her trip to Iguara, where she was allegedly injected with an overdose of sleeping drug and subsequently overpowered, strangulated, and killed. Thereafter, her head and arm were severed, and the remainder of the corpse was buried in a shallow grave 
at Oboja area of Ibuora. Based on credible information and diligent investigation, the police in Ibuora and Isain were able to smash the syndicate and arrested the two male culprits led by the principal suspect, spiritualist aka Woli Dotun Ogolade, age 24 years, and his cohort, Mutiu Ayorinde, male, age 32 years. Further investigations revealed that the severe parts were allegedly crushed into powder for rituals to become powerful and rich, two knives used to kill and severe the body parts, a white cloth bag containing food they trust, mostly total strangers who pretend to be spiritual healers, particularly on the social media, while the citizens are enjoyed to continue to partner with the police, collaborate and support them by giving us very useful and timely information to enable us to serve the community better. Let me quickly add that the members of the public, we, we, we want to thank them for giving us information that led to this breakthrough. And at the same time, to enjoy members of the public to be wary of the kind of associates they keep, to be careful in moving from one area to another without informing family members exactly where they are going, either as an adult or a child, because there are evil ones all over the place. They are out there.